Graphene Manufacturing Corp. believes it has found a solution to replace lithium-ion batteries. A battery that can charge 70 times faster than lithium-ion? Is this real? Is it legit? Well, it is backed by one of the biggest companies in the world. So here is what is actually going on. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. On this channel, we have discussed sodium batteries, LFP batteries, ternary batteries, iron flow batteries, heat batteries, and many other types of battery chemistry. However, we haven't talked about the batteries that this company is producing. Brisbane-based Graphene Manufacturing Group, Brisbane is here in Australia, by the way, has found a solution to help replace lithium-ion batteries. They say these new batteries will charge 70 times faster and are longer lasting and also better for the environment. So we've got three things here. 70 times faster charging, better for the environment and last longer. Could this all be true? While developers across the world are charging into what is expected to become a trillion dollar battery market by 2050, I think 2030, GMG thinks it's on a winner with its next generation graphene aluminium ion battery. Right now, lithium ion batteries are literally everywhere. They're using everything from coin cell batteries, mobile phones, utility scale batteries, cars, laptops, bicycles, scooters, everywhere. They become ubiquitous, but they require a range of metals which need to be mined, creating a larger carbon footprint. There's also been a string of bad headlines over the past few years about utility scale lithium ion batteries overheating and causing fires, including at Victoria's big battery last year here in Australia. GMG founder and managing director Craig Nickel a former Shell executive said it would be a very bumpy ride with the scale of batteries needed to completely decarbonize the world economy. But he said he was confident that, that their graphene aluminium ion battery, which GMG claims can charge up to 70 times faster with three times more battery life than current lithium ion batteries, is a big part of the world's solution to solving this challenge. This technology was only developed a year ago and we are already making batteries. There is no other company in the world doing what we are doing, Mr. Nickel told the Australian Financial Review. We have a near zero emissions product, but there will be lots of different battery types to get to the next step. We need to use all of these products to get to the other side. Through a top secret production process, which breaks down natural gas into graphene powder, GMG is working on developing a pilot plant to start producing graphene iron batteries in 2024. And it's partnered with one of the biggest mining companies in the world, Rio Tinto. GMG is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange in Canada with a market cap of $300 million. And it's also using the graphene powder for spray paints for HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning products, as well as automotive fluids. The company has already signed an informal partnership with global miner Rio Tinto about integrating energy saving products into operations, as well as supplying aluminium for GMG's commercial battery operations, which will be based in the industrial city of Gladstone here in central Queensland in Australia. And one of the key things to keep in mind is much of the world's battery resources, including a lot of lithium and nickel, is actually based here in Australia as well. On a tour of the company's facilities in Richlands in Brisbane's western suburb, scientists and engineers were testing the graphene powder for coin cell batteries, as well as battery pouches, which could be used from everything from mobile phones to utility scale batteries. Graphene powder, which is black and as light as a feather, is being tested under different climatic conditions and voltage settings ahead of the pilot plant being built at the facility. Through a research agreement with the University of Queensland, GMG was granted exclusive license of the patent pending technology for battery cathodes using nanotechnology to insert aluminium ions inside tiny perforations in GMG graphene platelets. The end result allows GMG to increase the energy density of their cathodes, which allows them to significantly outperform lithium ion batteries. 
at least in the laboratory that is. Lithium ion batteries are the dominant battery around the world right now. With China dominating about 90% of materials required for, for production, lithium ion batteries are cheap because they are produced at massive scale. Scale is what matters. However, where GMG hopes to gain the advantage is in its process for making graphene powder straight from gas. While competitors are still using the more costly process of making graphene from graphite, a process which takes a number of washing processes. Another key advantage of aluminium ion batteries is the increased energy density. You can fit three times the electrons than in a lithium battery, meaning energy density could theoretically be three times greater. This would be enough to easily make commercial electric airliners a very feasible probability. And it also means that these batteries don't overheat to create fire risks, which would obviously be a problem if you were flying in an airplane, right? You don't want the batteries overheating and setting themselves on fire. Perfect solution for that kind of transportation. Airplanes all over the world would probably start using these batteries if they do go into commercial production with an energy density at this level. They're also safer as well. A coin cell graphene aluminium ion battery isn't lethal if swallowed by a small child, but lithium ion batteries, they are. Compared to lithium batteries, graphene aluminium batteries don't need lithium, they don't need copper, they don't need cobalt, they don't need manganese, they don't need phosphate, they don't need iron, they don't need any rare earth materials to be mined for their production. That's incredible. They're also rechargeable and 100% recyclable too. The opportunity for these batteries is limitless, GMG General Manager of Batteries Mark Chan Yan said. Although the application for graphene is wide, Mr. Nichols said GMG decided to focus on three products, including the HVAC energy saving coating, which is already being used. When coated on air conditioning or refrigeration units, it can achieve heat savings of, of up to 50%. On diesel engine radiators, it can improve performance by 20%. So they've already used this product in commercial applications and it's proven that it works. The potential energy savings are part of why Rio Tinto has signed a partnership with GMG. The global miner will be able to supply aluminium from its alumina factory in Gladstone. For the moment, Mr. Nichols said the graphene aluminium ion batteries are likely to be used in heavy machinery like mining as well as in high performance electric cars like say for example Porsche Taycan or the Porsche 911 when it goes fully electric. Higher power density, higher energy density is our real competitive advantage now. More power and for much longer. And the charging speed could theoretically be absolutely incredible. I mean, if these batteries can charge 70 times faster than current batteries, that would mean a lithium battery in a car could charge in say less than one minute. Now this is all just in theory right now, and those charging speeds haven't been proven in the real world at utility scale. The end game is we want to show we can make the best battery at the best price. Whether or not this company in Australia succeeds or not, I don't know, but if they can produce batteries with three times the energy density in batteries today, so say the average battery might have around 200 watts per kilo, if they can produce batteries with 600 watts per kilo, that kind of energy density, that is what we need for the entire aeronautical industry to go electric. That would certainly solve that challenge. It would also mean that if these batteries do in fact work, and if the graphene can be manufactured through gas, we don't have to mine these materials, meaning the batteries would be cheaper and definitely cause less damage to the environment. All sounds amazing, it all sounds great, but right now it's purely theoretical. The truth is lithium iron phosphate batteries and sodium batteries are really the most likely batteries to be used across most of the industry over the next 10 to 20 years. I've spoken about why that is in a number of different videos on the channel. So if you haven't already, so if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. And I'll go into more detail on those batteries in future videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.